I'm Caroline and I'm the Wildlife Park Manager here at Ask and Brian Wildlife and Conservation Park, which is part of Ask and Brian College. And I'm here today to answer the question, what is an amphibian? Amphibians belong to the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Chordata and the class Amphibia. These animals are characterised by their ability to utilise water and land, although there are some exceptions. There are species which live exclusively in water and others which live exclusively on the land. Members of this class include Anuria, which is true toads, true frogs, dart frogs, tree frogs and mantellas, Uridela, which includes newts and true salamanders, giant salamanders and mole salamanders, and Sicilians, which is a group of limbless snake-like amphibians that look something like a cross between a worm and a snake. The anatomy of these animals is interesting as they have fewer bones than other vertebrates and they lack well-developed ribs. Their skin is very thin and fragile to allow gases to exchange through the surface and in order to do this they must remain moist. Some species even breathe exclusively through their skin. Because they are so delicate, they can struggle during extremes of weather and climate and are often the first animals to die off during a drought. Amphibian life cycles. Another special feature of most amphibians is their egg, larvae, adult life cycle. The larvae are aquatic and free swimming. Frogs and toads at this stage are called tadpoles. At a certain size, the young develop limbs and lungs. Some will also lose their tails. Eventually, some will hop or climb out of the water as adults and spend the rest of their lives living on, mostly on land. This process is known as metamorphosis. Poisonous amphibians. Some amphibians are apismatic, which means they're brightly coloured as a warning to would-be predators that they're toxic and could potentially cause death. Poison dart frogs can come in a wide variety of colours and are often referred to as the jewels of the rainforest. At best, these animals taste really, really bad and that can be enough to put most predators off for life. But there are exceptions. The fire-bellied snake considers them quite a delicacy. What do amphibians eat? Amphibians, as adults, are usually carnivores and not fussy eaters. Anything small enough to fit in their mouth and swallow whole is on the menu. This means they eat a wide variety of creatures, including invertebrates like slugs, spiders and cockroaches, all the way up to mice and other small mammals. It is some appetite. Some amphibians actively hunt for their meals, while others have perfected their ambush skills, waiting until something walks past before launching a powerful and sticky tongue out and snapping their jaws around the unsuspecting snack. By comparison, the larvae of many amphibians are exclusively herbivorous, eating plant matter until they metamorphose. That's it from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning all about amphibians Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to watch more videos about our animals here at the Wildlife Park. And don't forget, keep learning to protect nature. Bye.